All right, we're uh, we're playing League. Uh, oh, I have a decision to make. I guess we should replace an estate, right? Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't even look. Well, oh well. Um, all right. So uh, that's concerning. Oh well. Um. Yeah, we're, we're playing League. Uh, it's against Fika. Uh, my internet connection seems to be a little bit messed up, but, uh, we'll, we'll hope that that can improve, hopefully, throughout the match. Um, let's see. We inherited a border guard. Uh, so we'll probably see that next turn. Uh, this board doesn't actually have, like, I want to say a whole lot. I mean, the, the extra gains are like Sculptor and Necromancer. I don't think there's a way to like consistently top deck anything. So it's a little bit tough to, uh, to get the Necromancer working. Um, Village, Mastermind, probably something you want. I guess I'm going to start Magpie and then shuffle into it. Uh, like next turn hits five probably. Um, I don't think we actually want to take a five right here just because we kind of want to get the magpie thing going. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Um, I'm not sure whether the first five should be mastermind or sculptor. Sculptor is the extra gains, but it's kind of questionable how valuable that actually is, I guess. Um... Okay, you, you saw the you saw the border guard there. Um, this is about perfect. Uh, this is actually extremely perfect. So I think I'm actually just going to take a mastermind right now. I don't know that I actually really want to take a sculptor first. Um, the mastermind I think is fairly likely to hit. Or we can or we can make it fairly likely to hit. I mean, maybe the sculptor should come first, just like, considering extra gains. Like, the thing I'm thinking with the sculptor is that, like, without a village, you have to be taking silver, which is so, like, not actually valuable. Yeah, let's, let's go mastermind. And actually, I'm just gonna take another one right here. I think. Um, in a perfect world, this magpile hit. I'd really like it to do so. That is, drop an estate in. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I guess I should border guard over. Um, and probably this just wants to be another border guard now. That sounds appropriate. We should line up Mastermind with Magpie next turn, assuming we didn't bottom deck it. And then I want a Sculptor. Yeah, okay, so this is perfect. And a Monastery, that's interesting. Okay. All is well. This can now top deck, which will make it such that I am guaranteed to hit with Mastermind. Uh, and now let's go ahead and pick up that Sculptor we've been talking about. So this is, this is very good. This is all very good. Yeah, see that? I mean, I, I clearly still have it, but... Okay. That's a little bit disappointing, I guess. Okay, that's better. Um, I guess if I play the border guard first, I'm guaranteed to hit? Is that true? Yeah. Um, 
wonder if I can, yeah, I can, I can pile. Uh, I guess it's probably not worth it to pile magpies right here. Um, we have a magpie on top. I could just gain the last one. I don't think that's really worth it. Um, I could also take like a monastery right now. Um, I don't know how necessary that is. Uh, like monastery by mastermind, something like that. Uh, would be would be the move I'm looking at. Um, that seems fine. Let's do that. Trash up to five. Do I want to trash out these estates? Probably. I mean, this next turn, the 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 whatever will probably want to gain silver sculptor. But we're we're looking good right now. Um, just get through the coppers, make it so that these things draw, okay, um, so yeah, let's just play two masterminds, grab silver, um, grab another mastermind, and then I think next turn we're just going to start greening. And hopefully we'll be able to mastermind the sculptor here. I think I'm going to mastermind border guard to start out just to, uh, make it, um, maximally likely that I'm able to mastermind the sculptor with the second one. I guess we could also go for masterminding mastermind, but yeah. Okay, that's disappointing. I guess I'm going to mastermind mastermind with this one. We're going to try to do the um, the the five masterminds for three thing. This monastery is pretty bad. They're turning out to be pretty bad. Um, that was probably not the most advisable whatever ever okay so we have the triple mastermind we have the single mastermind let's just pick up our fifth um i don't actually really want to trash any copper do i not this turn and yeah i need, I need to start greening I'm not like actually in the most one position, I guess, uh, just cause, like, I have to, I have to be able to produce, um, essentially green, uh, yeah, like this might be a province. Um, I should be able to do better just because I have, you know, way more masterminds and, and can potentially mastermind the sculptor. It's just going to be a little bit tough. All right. Single mastermind wants to play mastermind. And then these three can do, uh, whatever. Um, sculptor. Oh, come on, connection. Magpie. This is really poor. Um, Alright, so let's pick up silver. Silver. Necromancer. Um, okay. Let's see, this is going to want to mason. Um, knowing that there's a magpie on top right now. Uh, possibly into duchy. I think it probably wants to be into duchy. Um, doesn't matter which 
of these I play. Come on. That is really annoying. Um, <laughs> I don't really know why we had to, um, like the, the, uh, modem had to move a little bit. Um, but this is, seems kind of extreme even for that. Uh, like it moved kind of to the other side of a wall. Um, and yeah. So I guess you're going to continue to try to province. Um, my sculptor is really decreasing in usefulness. Like it's going to mostly be trying to get estates, I guess. Uh, I guess I could also pick up like a moat with it. Uh, just because I have the terminal space or plenty of terminal space. I guess first thing this turn is going to be, let's go find another mastermind. So that means play, probably play border guard first. Um, And we'll continue to try to province duchy. So this one plays border guard. Uh, let's pick up the sculptor, a mastermind, sure. Uh, and a mastermind. This one will play a mastermind three times. This one will play magpie three times. Okay. And then I guess I want to mastermind the sculptor, which can gain like border guard. Uh, maybe Necromancer Moat. Um, all right, Magpie on top. Let's Mason. The Duchy. Uh, continue to play these out. Play the Mastermind. Grab Province. Don't need to play Monastery. Okay. So, I mean, you have, um, you certainly have potential to be able to gain province duchy, like, or, or even double province. We can't, like, write that off. Um, so we'll want to be a little bit careful. Uh, just make sure that nothing unexpected happens. Um, Like, you can't mace in here because I, I should be able to double province. Um, there's like scenarios where I can't, but chances are I'll be able to mill plus whatever. Um, and I mean, I guess it'll depend on what you do, what I do with my, uh, masterminds. Like, like if you take it down to two provinces, like I have to be. Yeah, okay, it's not happening. Um, so this turn I'm going to be really conservative. I'm going to double duchy. Uh, just because there's like no point in losing this game from here. So let's go ahead and... Do I actually want to strand the masterminds? Look, I think I have one more turn maximum. No, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a point. Okay. Um... So let's go ahead and do magpie first. OK. 
Okay. Um, army border guard. Sure, sure. Oh, maybe I actually don't want to be taking the province there. Oh well, we'll get over it. Um, no border guard. Grab moat. Uh, I think lantern. I'm actually going to take the uh, province here with the idea that I want to get magpie on top. Okay. Um, I guess I can play one of these as like a spy. Um, there is, there is another magpie in there. There's also a silver. Let's hope this doesn't draw a magpie. Okay. That is a magpie. I'm looking at two provinces and two duchies. That makes up for the provinces. This is a magpie. So let's mason it. Um, play that. I don't know, let's take, I mean, I could take a state, I'm buying duchy, um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be stupid, I guess I'm just gonna take another border guard, make myself, like, maximally likely to kick off by duchy, I'm just, I'm just not gonna, not gonna mess around. And I, don't think I left. No. I guess I could have taken a province. Right. No, you could like potentially sculpt three estates. Yeah. I think it's okay to be conservative uh, there. Like you could have sculpted three estates, milled a province, bought a province, and tied. Which, I mean, it seems like just the most unnecessary thing to play around, but I don't want to find out. And, like, you can't take two duchies because I should be able to uh, sculptor out all the border guards and mill a duchy by a duchy. So this puts me in just, like, totally okay shape. And if you get one duchy, then I'm fine doing duchy province. I guess my ability to duchy province is low-ish or increasingly low-ish. But it's all right. We'll figure it out when we get there. I guess I can also potentially uh, hit a mastermind. If I don't really will. I won't really need to put out the whatever, whichever one. Okay, let's go win this game. Um, alright. It's not going to matter too much just because this is the last turn, but let's go ahead and uh, kind of, I guess, do this the right way. Alright, we want to skip over provinces. Um, 
just for the most part. Come on. Um. Do magpie next. Okay, let's go ahead and do the moat. We know we have a province in there, so it should be findable. And then magpie. Um. I don't actually really want either of these. Do I have to take one? I don't think so. No, I guess I do. Um, I guess horn. We don't actually really want the, um, what's it? Okay, province on top. Let's hit it. Sculpt. Okay. Yeah. I really wish my uh, connection was a whole lot better than it is. Um, and it is your start. Um, all right, what do we have here? Uh, Herald Village. Uh, Blockade Herald seems pretty important. We also have, like, Bounty Hunter Crop Rotation, which, uh, means that you can spike six pretty quickly. Um, I guess I'm gonna start Blockade Pawn. Uh, I really hope to see the blockade turn three. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I think so. Um, pawn can be horsed potentially to give me a little bit more likely uh, chances. Um, with the idea that I kind of want to blockade bounty hunter and then spike six that way. I guess we could also try to do it with Baron. Uh, that seems kind of stupid, but but it is the thing that you can do is is try to do it with Baron. Um, it doesn't seem like a really great board to be being player two on, but you can, I guess, hope for the best. Uh, I think Pawn is better than Harbinger. Bing Harbinger. Um, Okay, I managed to not see either, which is not good. Um, oh, you blockade, blockade. That's irritating. Well, I guess I take the bounty hunter right here. Uh, then, because like I can blockade, blockade next turn. Um, and that'll be that'll be fine. Oh, apparently I can't blockade, blockade next turn. Well, this sucks. Um. Uh, I feel so lost already. Well, no, I'm just like clearly lost already. Um, I'll keep going, but it's, it's, it's just, it's not going to happen from here. Um, it's, it's just not. Come on. Man, this is so poor. Like, <sighs> um, I have to blockade Harold. Like, oh, you don't want to? Awesome. Oh no, I have to blockade a blockade still, right? Yeah. I mean, I want to get my crop rotation. So let's go like action coin here. A 
Little Bounty Estate. And I guess I'm just going to be taking curses, because what else are we going to do? You, you can't really do without a second blockade. I guess I could blockade Harold and try to live with one. It seems grim. Uh, just trying to do that. But I don't really know if I have other choices. Like, I don't think I can really take a curse right here. On the other hand, how does this deck work without? Maybe we can, maybe we can make you take a curse. That's, that's gonna be the hope anyways. Um. Jesus! Like, holy cow, is this bad? I mean, I'm not going to be able to maintain the blockade on Heralds, so that's a problem. Um, do we go into this shuffle? Probably not. I'm probably just going to actually overpay for Herald by one. is really frustrating. <laughs> it's especially frustrating game that I have like no chance at winning <laughs> just because it feels like I'm going so slowly. Um... And you can blockade both Herald and Blockade. Well, that is terrible. Um, I have to get the blockade right here. That seems no doubt. Um, do I... God, I don't know what I do with this pawn. I guess I could go, like, card by... and take a uh, pawn blockade. I mean, at some point I'm going to have to take curses. It's just, I don't know. I just don't think there's that much point in continuing to play this game. Yeah, let's just get out of there. Um, yeah, I, I mean... There's, there's an obvious moral to this one, which is don't bottom deck your openers, especially when one of them is blockade and your opponent saw it turn three. Um. <laughs> Nothing else to do there. God, this is bad. Okay, uh, we have blockade here again. Um, this board looks fairly straightforward. Um, like there's plus buy, there's, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess we're gonna open blockade and nomads it. Uh, that seems pretty obvious. I don't know what we're going to gain with it first. Probably another blockade, but... Um, this card. Okay. Um, I suppose I'm going to take a rat catcher here. 
uh, just because it's it's non-terminal like. Uh, I guess I should think about like, is there some like would I be blockading Workers Village? I don't think so. Let's just take the rat catcher. Oops, blockade. Cade. Um, I guess we could also think about like taking a C chart, uh, since theoretically it can draw blockades, but yeah. I think we're I think we're probably okay. Like at some point I think the main thing we're gonna actually want to be blockading is silver. Um you know. <laughs> Uh, this blockade is going to set aside yet another blockade. I don't think we actually really need to work with militia that much earlier. Like, it'll be something we want to add pretty soon, but for the most part, we'll be okay. Um, blockade, blockade by courtyard, I guess. I'm going to be sticking Workers Village into the next like shuffle. I guess I could also just keep grabbing C charts. That doesn't seem like the worst idea ever either. Um, we'll get militia right here. I guess I'm going to pick up the courtyard right now. I'm not getting militia right here. No, I am getting militia because of uh, Band of Nomads. This is fine. Rat catcher, blockade the village, pick up courtyard. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a blockade here. Uh, that was kind of the idea. Um, Max the search space. Okay, we did find a blockade. Um, I should stop here and consider whether I want to friendly the C chart. I think the answer is probably yes. Um, pick up another village, friendly the C. Pick up a village courtyard, uh, friendly the C chart. Yeah. Village. I guess I could also turtle the C chart. I think it's better to. I think it's better to just get more of them. <sighs> Gosh. Um, we're going to try friendlying C chart again, I guess. Okay, do I really, really want a um, storyteller? Maybe. I guess I'm kind of tempted to like put in Workers Village Militia, but... Yeah, let's go Workers Village, and I mean, I should be drawing all right. Yeah, let's let's take the militia. Um, hopefully, that can be fairly high impact. Uh, okay. Into hand, call the rat catcher. Interesting that you, well, you played blockade over, um, what's its other thing? Um, 
how many C charts do I have? I don't know. Should have played courtyard first. That's that's the real moral. Um, okay. Apparently, I need more village. So let's get a village. Uh, maybe get a smithy. I don't know if like smithy is actually better than double courtyard, but let's let's say it is. Uh, and then we'll we'll get the last C chart here. So I feel like I'm in okay a shape. Um, no, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Be honest. You didn't manage to play your uh, blockade early. No, you did manage to play it. You played it turn three, but it uh, set aside militia. I guess was what happened. Yeah. And then you. Okay. I don't know. I, I mean, some of it's, of course, just execution. Like, can I manage to do good things? <laughs> um, from here. Do I really feel like I need another village? Like, like, am I going to take a curse for one? Probably not. I mean, I'm sure tempted to just be, like, blockading silver. Um, I might turtle C chart here. Like, I mean, I think I can do everything I want to. Um, get smithy by gold. I mean, you don't really want to be buying gold, but I gotta produce money somehow. Let's go for it. I think I have two villages in here. We'll find out. Well, no, I have I have the uh, set aside sea chart turtle, so we should be we should be fine otherwise. Um, don't know how much we're gonna get to trash. I guess at some point I do want to develop. Uh, I probably am willing to take a curse for another village this turn. Uh, do like village develop, something like that. Or village silver. I guess I also want another blockade at some point. Uh, so like village blockade is prob probably going to end up being best. I guess I want to get through this stuff. I don't, I don't, re didn't remember how much, uh, stuff there was. Um, sure would be nice to remember if there was a village in there. I think there is. Not entirely sure though. Um, I mean, I think I, I think I need to do that, uh, and I guess we probably want to play militia too. I guess there's like a gold. That's kind of not amazing. Maybe I grab like Storyteller Develop right here. I think that makes some amount of sense. Okay. 
Okay, there was a village in there. Um, I probably do get militia, which is going to really mess up my rat capture. I guess the other thing is, like, you don't actually have real draw, so there's actually a really good chance that I didn't get militia, which is, of course, what ended up happening. I guess it's possible I should have been setting aside Smithy instead of uh, Worker's Village. Okay. Okay, we're, we're going, sort of. Um, all right, well, we at least got back to a blockade, which is really nice. Uh, I guess we're probably not going to do much better than that. Do I still... I probably do try to draw on. Okay. And I mean, if I try to draw on there, I'm trying to draw on here. Look at this storyteller being completely useless. Um, oh, I totally should not have played that smithy. It's all right. We're going to blockade Worker's Village. We're going to blockade Blockade. Uh, and I might actually just buy a province to be, to be safe about things. Yeah. Yeah, you're toast. I don't think I can quite win. No, I should be able to win this turn. Uh, develop something into one of these. Blockade the other two. Buy. Heck, I don't know. Um, probably like this. I guess it's a little bit uncertain. I don't think you can buy province. Uh, in fact, I'm entirely certain that you can't buy province. Well, let's just try to draw out and then see what happens at the end of it. I think I think that's that's more the move then. Then then worrying about a win really early on. So I, the I theoretically have enough gains and whatever to win this turn, but I think it's not the most likely thing ever to happen. And last turn I sort of messed up also. Uh, playing Smithy, the second Smithy, that's all right. We are, we are getting over it. <laughs> Interesting that you... okay. Alright. That storyteller is so nice to see. I say as it doesn't do a danged thing. Um... I mean, part of the problem is that, like, this is all my draw. So this is just like a total utter dud. And it's actually going to totally screw me over next turn, too. So what am I going to do about it? Blockading a worker's village doesn't actually do me much. I guess what we're just going to turtle the storyteller. <sighs> this is really bad. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh, 
like, I mean, I saw the province, but it still seems kind of an extreme, uh, an extreme case of village draw separation, like majorly. Um, especially just considering that I, I saw like all of my terminal draw cards right there. Uh, not good. Really, really, really not good. <laughs> Um, and I'm almost certain to get militia right here. Also, also really, really not good. Um, like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to trigger this shuffle reasonably. I mean, I guess probably, but... Uh, um, certainly that. We're going to want to play all of these to the storyteller. That was disgusting. Maybe I should have set aside two workers' villages with the blockades. I mean, heck. I don't. I mean, I don't think there was anything about that turn that was at all predictable. It's just really irritating that such a thing would happen. It was, of course, possible. I mean, it's just so much would have rather seen coppers than every single one of my draw cards. I guess is most of it. So foul. Like, I mean, there's a bunch of C charts in here. I don't even know if there's a bunch of C charts in here. How many C charts did I go through? Only two. Okay. Man. I mean, part of it is I guess you can really be setting up your next turn now, right? I guess you probably can't, don't think that you can afford to be taking Worker's Village, but like if you buy Province and leave other things, there's also like this distinct possibility that you can just win here, um, I guess. Maybe. I mean, like, there's no curses coming in, so if you're able to, you know, blockade enough things. Um, oh, what did you... Oh, you gained a blockade at the start. Okay. Uh, which is, I mean, the, the gain of blockade at the start is going to make it a whole lot harder for me to win this turn, especially since I have no freaking draw. We will get coppers in play for the uh, C charts, I guess, is is one thing to to consider. Uh, it'll make those draw not really at all better because I'm totally expecting to draw the almost 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 all of the rest of my coppers right here. Um. I mean, a province buy makes it almost impossible for me to win this turn, I guess, just because blockades are blockaded. So emptying this is minus three points. So somehow I'd have to empty this and buy a province, which with this starting hand, especially using up my gold, is probably not going to end up happening. Um... So I guess really I'm just looking at I There's just no way for me to look at this and not think I'm totally dead.
Like that's that's definitely the feeling is is that I and I mean depending on what you do, I'm gonna have to draw into that just because like like I don't really want to be drawing into this just because I'm gonna have all my villages sitting right here and all my draw sitting right there, but if I end up having to do something with the turn, I don't know that I'm going to be able to afford to not do that. Like... Okay, it's just going to be by province. All right, well, let's see what happens. Um, this is, of course, looking totally awful. Um, so... I do want to play the blockade. I guess we'll probably blockade Broker. Seeing as I don't think we're going to be winning this turn. Um, do we go into this shuffle? I feel like I kind of have to. Like, I, I gotta be buying at least Duchy, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't think we can really do that. It seems so grim. Um... Like, I don't, I don't really feel like I can afford to shuffle right here. I mean, I can try going into it, but chances are I just end up so super sad. I guess I could also play the C chart and then turtle the worker's village. Um... Because, like, if I end up turtling the worker's village... Yeah, alright, let's do it that way. Okay, we're seeing a lot. Um... Smithy Courtyard. I guess I can develop Blockade into like Silver Story Tower, maybe? I kind of do want duchies though. Let's see, there's a Smithy on top. So I think I definitely want to blockade a state, that seems for sure. Um, I guess I can actually probably afford to put Duchy Silver on top, just given the broker that's coming in. So maybe we like blockade two estates. I don't know if that makes it overly possible for you to pile curses. Probably not. Um, it's like this can go to Silver Duchy because we have the broker coming in. And then this one should probably either be a smithy or an estate. 
Um, I'm going to say it probably should end up being Smithy. Uh, my ability to win next turn is decreased significantly uh, with with this uh, maneuvering. Um, just because I'm only going to have zero blockades uh, going into next turn. Maybe I take a silver. Mm. Like, I feel like I should be drawing next turn with what I've put in there. I guess I could also do another broker. Um, but, shoot. Uh, let's do the silver and hope for the best. I feel like I need to put the deck power in here for next turn, so that's, I guess, where that's coming from. This is especially good because it means we're probably going to get to hold the broker for later. Potentially have that be for coins, which could be extremely valuable. That's interesting. I mean, this, this mostly indicates to me, I guess, that you maybe aren't thinking that you're going to be able to win this turn. I guess it's probably a little bit far-fetched anyways. Um, especially with the develop bottom decking. Um, let's see, I'll be able to... Well, you're probably buying province, so I don't know if it ends up being that relevant. I was thinking like I can develop into blockade, blockade, blockade. Now if we chop something big enough with the broker, maybe. I'll be able to buy something like Workers Village Blockade Duchy. It's asking for a lot of actions, which I don't know if I really have. So maybe this, uh, whatever it was, silver should have been another broker. That's what I'm thinking right now. Now I'll see what the situation is. I guess you're maybe a little bit hurting for money. Because uh, you have silver, two coppers in play. Otherwise, you have a militia and five coppers, which only makes seven. Mm hmm? So you're probably looking at needing two duchies. Oh, I guess I mean this is how you province, of course.
Okay, so, I mean, I think I can... Well... I think we're going to have to do a kind of a draw out and see. Um, so, like, I can develop into blockade. Blockade to blockade, that's going to be minus two points. Uh, broker something big. So we want to do this first, probably just all of them. I know I'm going to need the actions if I'm going to win right here. Um, I may want to end up developing this smithy, I guess. Like, okay, so, so how is this going to happen? Uh, I have to develop, I guess I could develop smithy into, like, duchy develop. I'm trying to figure out how this works. I'm also contemplating whether I have another worker's village. I think the answer is yes. I just don't know where it is. Um, and whether I have to commit early. Um, so, like, if I develop Smithy into develop duchy... Oh, can I pile duchy? I can think I might be able to pile duchy. So I develop, I develop smithy into develop duchy. I draw those. I develop. I'm, I'm coming up one action short here, I think. Oh, so smithy into develop duchy, draw, yeah. The draw would really need to be finding a worker's village, is what I'm thinking. Okay. I develop militia into develop duchy, or duchy develop. I don't, I don't know if it works. Develop militia into duchy develop. Develop smithy into duchy develop. Draw. That leaves me with one too few actions. All right. Um. I guess one of those maybe can be a silver. And then we broker a duchy for coins. Well, let's see if it works. I'm, 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 I'm probably losing next turn if it doesn't anyways, so let's find out the hard way. Okay, develop smithy into Duchy Silver. Draw with Courtyard. There's nine coins. Broker Duchy for coins gets me 14. I can go Duchy, Duchy, Workers Village. There we go. Okay. That got a little bit complicated at the end with the Mega Dud, but we managed. So, it's your start. Why are you so eager to have me start extra games? Alright, what do we have here? Uh, uh, mass grade for draw, long ship for draw, 
Squire for buys, windfall for payload. I think that's about the summary. Um, Anvil looks pretty not great, I want to say. Um, I think mostly you want to be like magically hitting six. Uh, that would be a, that would be a good thing to do. Um, yeah. Like I think I think this should be a silver just because I mean what you really want is is this stuff uh particularly border village but also long ship I guess uh like an ideal next shuffle might be something like border village mask mask or border village uh long ship mask or long ship mask and I don't think any of that's particularly compatible with poacher Okay, so this will be long ship, um, for certain. For me, at least. You can take a band. I mean, we're hitting three next turn, or, or if we don't, it's because we missed our mask and we're just dead. Apparently, we're just gonna be dead. So that's wonderful. As in, not at all. Um. I really, really wish that my stuff would not be go missing shuffles. I really should have ordered that silver mask at the start. Like, like this, this was just a total mistake. This should have been silver and this should have been mask. So, I guess similar to game two, this is going to play out completely pointless, probably. Um, like that's, that's how bad the mask missing is, is it's, it's just that bad. <sighs> Maybe your mask and band can both miss. That would be desirable. It it really would be it really would be quite a quite a good thing to have happen. So like I, I guess it's not like over over. Well, <laughs> I don't like seeing that. Um, is something in a pile probably? Can I afford to take the poacher now? Also probably yes. Uh, I got past a copper, which is a good thing on my end. Um, this will hit six, which I guess will be border village band. I think that makes sense. Okay, so it's it's not all bad. Um, And then this can be, uh, well, do we want it to be Merchant Camp or Squire? I guess it super doesn't matter. I'm going to do Merchant Camp even though I'm pretty sure that doesn't actually work anymore. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it leads to less clicking, which is good. Border village, long ship, I suppose. Next turn is not looking the most amazing. It's just going to be like... No, I have a poacher in there, so I actually do get to trigger the shuffle. That's good. That is a good shuffle to have definitely going to happen. Uh, now it's an even better shuffle to have definitely going to happen. Do I actually really want a border village badly enough to not trash this? That sounds like really improbable. Alright, this is really improved. Um, 
I guess I get to windfall here, which is even more amazing. Uh, do I though, or or do I or do I wait one more turn? Like this can be squire for whatever. Squire for buys. What do I do with that? I guess I can also trash again, get another long ship. It seems so bad not to be not to be just taking the taking the windfall. Especially with the two um long ships coming in. So despite the mask missing, I'm feeling extremely ahead now. Um, I guess there's some question of whether I should actually be making these trashes, but I feel like the answer is yes. I could windfall again. Um, I don't think that's particularly necessary. I could take like three long ships. That seems pretty bad. Um, I'm liking something like... Uh, Border Village Band, long, I guess it could just be two long ships in a band. Pass the poacher, sure. I mean, it's about to be kind of iffy, right? I mean, it's better than a copper, but... And you... didn't draw your mask? Ow! Ouch. Yeah, that's an, that's an ouch. Maybe I should have taken the last long ship, just like gotten the long ship split. Probably not. That's, that's, this is just like crazy unlucky. Um. Okay, those three are out. Let's buy province. Yeah? Yeah. I don't I don't think another border village band actually does me a whole lot. That was just kind of a low draw turn, because uh, only one long ship was out. I mean you should be able to reach this turn, right? Yeah, no problem. Or reach, reach the windfall, which is something that you really do need. Like, I don't, I don't think you can really viably play this game without. Are you really gonna go after fortune? I don't, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. Windfall band.
Anvil. Do I like an Anvil more than whatever? Probably. Uh, I guess we've also gotten to the point where I'd like to stop trashing. Um, can I gain a silver with one of these bands? I guess so. I guess I could also play it as like Poacher. That doesn't seem very productive. Okay, um, let's we'll see how much money I have. Uh, I do have 16, but I think I'd rather have, like, 18 and just go province double band. Does that make sense? I don't think so. When we go, like, masquerade, province border village, brand squire. I don't really, do I, do I actually, actually maybe I do want to double province this turn. Because like, theoretically you'll be able to, and then I'm in kind of a tough spot there. No, I could just province double duchy. Yeah, that would be fine. So let's go mask, province. Border village. Band mask, maybe. Probably. I mean, it's draw. I don't. I don't think squires are going to be piling on us. I guess it also puts me in a position where if you take another border village, I can potentially pile stuff. So that was unintentionally a really genius maneuver. As I say, unintentionally. I just felt like I was able to build more since, like, even if you double province, I can still go, like, province, double duchy, and be fine because you're not hitting triple. And hitting quad duchy is difficult. Although maybe this gladiator stuff will be able to make it so that you can hit triple. That would be a really bad mistake if I were to make it. Well, let's see how much money there is this turn. And then consider carefully. Uh, I guess it probably would have been better to just play the band as, um, what's it, Gladiator last turn. Oh well. Okay, so you're at 18. Um, we think theoretically you could produce three more. Which seems extremely unlikely. Uh, especially since you'll need to draw actually significantly more next turn. So province double duchy looks fine potentially with a border village mixed in. If I can manage that. Ooh, poacher. That's kind of nice. I mean, it's better than a copper, that's for sure. Did I just play out all of my plus buy? I think I just played out all my plus buy. That's okay. A single province is totally fine. Um, 
the guy screwed up. Whoops. Um, so maybe we take like mask province. That seems reasonable. Right. Yeah. I guess I could take gladiator poacher. And this turn should work a little bit better. Oh, you did have three long ships out. All right. Well, this is fine still. Um, like you can double province and I do not care. In fact, I think you can take no provinces and I still don't care. I think I actually can reasonably hit 24 this turn. Maybe. Like 18. I added a band. Uh, I think I might be one coin short of 24. We'll see when we get there. Um, I mean, I had to use up all my plus buy to get through deck, so it wasn't really like it was an option to, to hold back one of the bands, or at least I don't think it was. You don't have 24. There is no way. I mean, you're counting it, but there there is no way. Right. Like I'm not I'm not insane here. Yeah. Okay. It'll be something that I need to uh think about as we're going through this is to uh Particularly, I guess, at the end of things is to pass a log ship instead of a uh, da, 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 whatever other thing. Log ship instead of a copper. I guess I'll have a lot of buys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like I screwed up last turn because I didn't get the plus buy, but there's no way to keep my turn going at that point, and I think what I did was better than what I would have gotten stopping. So I kind of we'll we'll have to we have to really remember that for this turn is that we cannot afford to be um using all of the bands for masquerades. I wonder if there was something last turn where I could have taken, like, Border Village Duchy, and that would have been better. I don't think so. one of those. Okay. This is kind of the expected amount of money. 
This isn't a win. I guess you think you can, I Emil, mean, you can afford to take one border village with them. Right. And then this is just going to be two duchies. Or at least I assume so. Like, you have to score at least six points here. If, if you don't get more than three above me, I can, uh, anvil for a mask and then border village mask, border village mask, border village duchy, and that'll be cheaper. Anyways, my, my theory is that I probably can hit... Whoa! 24 this turn? Well, let's find out. And see what gets passed around. Uh, Squire. That's actually extremely useful. Um, I'll say... Uh, let's see here. How is it that I was trying to win? Uh, three provinces, I guess, is the is the move. Um, it's certainly not quite there yet. So let's play this. Are we passing a long ship? Maybe. Um. Let's see, if I pass the long ship, what happens? I mean, am I going for it this turn? That's, I guess, the question that is being asked right here. The anvil doesn't do me a whole lot, so maybe we pass the anvil to start with. Okay, don't trash. Mask. We probably get the anvil back. Um, so what am I looking at right here? I'm looking at needing to play one more Masquerade, I guess. Yeah. Because Mask draws gold, and this is currently not that much. Um... So if we pass a long ship, how much money? This is 9, 13, 14, 15. Wait, let's start over. 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We get 18 from up there, 19, 22. 22 is not enough. Maybe I pass Masquerade? If I pass Masquerade... Um, I'm, I'm coming up short, I think, no matter what. Two, six, nine, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two. Do I think you can realistically hit twenty-four with two long ships out? No. So my other option is to do something like take two provinces and a duchy and say, go fit 18. Which, or I guess two provinces, a duchy, and an estate, and say, go hit 18. 
That is probably going to be the way to do it. So it's not 24, but it is 21. And I don't, th and let's just say, come get me. And I guess I'm passing long ships this turn, like exclusively. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> Here, have a long ship. I guess you need to hit 20 and 4 buys. That seems possible for you. Clever. Although I guess it's just as what we started out with, so maybe not so clever. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I I actually just have the win in hand. That's good. Yeah, we've had kind of two really intense end games. All right, uh, poacher done province. Whew. All right. been unusual, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I got to Windfall a lot earlier there, somehow. I don't know that it was anything I particularly did. Uh, Peril Fortress. Um, oh, there's Wolf Den, Wolf Den Loot. Okay, that changes things. Um, like, normally you'd just be, like, periling the crap out of fortresses, but each loot's minus three points, essentially, so that's not actually going to be a thing that we do. Uh, I guess we start Grotto Steward. Um, that's just kind of a normal thing to do. Um, and then see from there. I guess we probably want Cobbler's Fortress looks pretty good. Tragic Hero is going to be a lot more important than it might otherwise be uh, because of Wolf Den. Yeah. All right. So steward. Grotto. We may end up wanting to peril a fortress just to like see what happens, but I, I really, really doubt it. Oh, that cobbler is so good. I would have I would have given a lot for that. Eh, we'll get it this turn. If you didn't see it right here, eh, you probably saw it right here. Although you were thinking, which means that that might actually be the grotto. In which case it would be really dumb not to at least set aside two of the coppers and get another one. But, oh well, whatever. Well, it wasn't the cobbler, so that's, that's what really matters. And that is the cobbler. Okay, what do I want to do here? Um, I would really like to to lose the two estates. I just don't know that I can really afford to do that yet. Um, so probably we set aside four take cobbler, and then this turn we'll set aside four take cobbler. Um, and I guess see where we go from there. Two coins, buy second cobbler, yep. So I'm just kind of like a uncomfortable turn behind on everything. Um, a 
which, oh well. And I guess I'm not actually a turn behind on everything. I'm like a half turn behind, just because I have the copper out right here. You can actually do peril. It's kind of difficult to produce money, I guess. Um, I do not want a second steward. So I guess I'm actually just going to take Fortress. Yeah. Do I really want another cobbler here of like all things? Probably not. Maybe. No, I think I do. I think I do. Let's see, there are no nightmare scenarios where I don't draw right here. I also really need to get back to setting aside four. Um, kind of badly, actually. I don't know that I really want a fourth cop, or I think this turn I want Tragic Hero. Maybe a turn late on this stuff. Maybe it should have been Tragic Hero over Cobbler last turn, but I'm not buying that too much. This turn I want a tragic hero, that's that's certain. Um, how many coppers do I have? Six? It'd be really good to draw with Steward. Uh, so really, I just want a pair. Like, it's minus three points, but getting the uh, consistent plus buy-in seems so valuable. Maybe we do it once we have some tragic heroes. The thing is, like, if you uh, come up with figurehead insignia, uh, figurehead insignia, spell scroll's actually okay. Figurehead insignia something else. Doubloons, you're, you're just so sad. So, so sad. Okay, so just be a fortress. Um, okay, so I need to draw right here. Um, and then we're gonna set aside two, seriously? Well, maybe. Yeah, let's let's set aside two. Uh, take tragic hero. We should be fine this turn just because we have the two cobblers coming in, even though we undergrottoed a little bit. Uh, do something like fortress steward. Gold, obviously. I guess we could also consider like Fortress Diplomat. No. Let's let's pair the let's pair the steward first. This should be Tragic Hero. Uh, well, I guess it's reasonable for it to be Cobbler too, just given that you don't have. Um I'm gonna seriously consider uh what 
what's its here? Peril. And then decide that Tragic Hero is better after all. I can trash the two estates. That might be something that's worth doing. I guess I wanted the gold. Oh, you didn't replace your tragic hero. Well, that's good for me. You gained a grotto? What? Why would you gain a gr second grotto? Like, you're not planning to peril it, right? Like, if you want to peril something, Fortress is just better. Weird. No, you want to set aside more stuff. Well, this just gets weirder and weirder. I don't think that's something that you really need. Um, I could have two tragic heroes right here. That seems probably best. How much copper do I need for that? Not a ton. Like, I can do that. And let's just take two tragic heroes. Three buys. Like, I feel like once Tragic Cure runs out, you gotta do the peril thing. Just like... Having the plus buy is just... too overly valuable. Or maybe you don't. Like, if you reasonably have a, like, mild lead? I don't know. Have you trashed out all your estates? No, you still have you still have a estate trash to go. So here I want to take the last two tragic heroes, that seems certain, and then what else? Um, maybe we'll peril. Well, let's see how much money I end up having. I might actually end up having 18, in which case, like, province double tragic hero is going to be the way to go. Uh, I'm assuming that you're taking at least two of those and that I'm not going to be able to take three, which is totally what I'd do if it's going to be an option. That's actually maybe not true. It might be that two in one province is better. It's going to be almost impossible to hold on to them. No, it's going to be completely impossible to hold on to them. Um, okay, now you're paralleling. It's insignia. That really sucks for you. Um, so maybe we take, like, Fortress Steward. Or double fortress. You have two cobblers out. Let's just take double fortress while we're here. Um, okay. Uh, I can set aside four of these things. Play two stewards. Like what? What do I actually want to be doing here? Um. This is four, sixteen, maybe seventeen. We could take three tragic heroes in a peril. 
does that put me in a bad spot on piles, I guess is the question. Uh, you can take Fortress and then you have two buys. Uh, so that should actually be fine. I guess I can also have like 18, which is two tragic heroes in a province. And I think I'd be pretty happy with that. I think we've we've established that I'm I'm totally fine with with this. All right, it is now possible that I dud. Um, it's unlikely, but you know we're we're looking at this hand. Um, the, the hand is what it is. Uh, we could definitely be drawing four golds right here off these four coppers, uh, which would be terrible, but it is it is a thing that can happen. Um, uh, we're also going to be pretty close to being able to pile things. I have three buys, so. Well, we'll see. First step's going to be don't dud, which is, yeah, as I say, way too possible. Um, way too possible right now. Oh, he resigned. Thank goodness. I don't have to find out. <sighs> to your start. The last game. What have I won? I've won four. That's good. I like winning four games in a match. Better than winning three. A lot better than winning two. Significantly better than winning one. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Um, tomb. Uh, page. Bishop. Black Market. Uh, black Market looks important because it's draw. I guess we're probably going to actually start page black market like stockpiles here, but I don't think there's anything that you can reasonably like quick pile. And getting some trash that isn't bishop out of the black market sure looks a lot better than using bishop. Um, and like there's nothing really else that you want to be gaining, so we're going to be taking we're going to be taking black market stuff. Experiment's really nice. I would take that unless you have five, in which case I'd probably take stables instead. I don't think I'd take bridge this early. Like it's good, but I I I, I would like to be getting draw cards. I'm actually going to take a second black market here. Like that's that's how valuable uh, getting getting stuff out of it is. Um. Whether it's whether it's draw or whatever, like the the person who is able to pull draw is able to pull alternative trashing out of black market probably wins. This is like the easiest stables ever, to me at least. I don't think trickster's worth anything. Like eventually you will have bishop, you will pull draw. Those curses are not going to matter a whole lot. Goes for experiment. I guess you want like a crossroads or something that makes some amount of sense to do it that way instead. I don't really like the second page. I, I don't think it's like at all necessary. I guess. Awesome. I love when my black market misses. Um, am I going to take a crossroads? I guess. It's probably okay. Definitely no way that that crossroads is going to totally screw me over. Uh, counterfeit. Is that better than patrol? Yes. Crossroads draws at least one. That's good. Sea witch. Shoot. Sea witch is a good one. 
also that I have to take two silvers. Um, do I like Shanty Town? Probably. Do I like it over anything? Uh, over alternatives? Maybe not. No, I think I think we'll take like Shanty Town Vagrant. Wharf! Oh, come on. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Can't do a whole lot about this one. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Um, do I start taking the trickster? Maybe. Probably not. I could also really consider bishop already, just because, like, at this point it looks like I, I will have to be getting super thin. I could also go, like, double vagrant. Let's do that. Play warrior for sure. Gotta stop taking curses. Um, maybe now I grab bishop. I don't know. Like I feel like I tied a lot up in the um. Well, maybe we go after another warrior. I don't know. It all it all seems quite losing unless I manage to pull something that draws here <laughs> like like that's that's going to be the major thing otherwise i'm going to be trying to work favorite crossroads draw which is a which is a serious like not actually draw kind of thing but we'll try i also don't know if i'm actually going to be able to work the um the the another warrior angle at this point like i feel like maybe sort of past that by in terms of how much plus buy you're gonna have somehow inventor is worse than everything i would sure like the king's course but inventor is somehow worse than vagrant uh, as unlikely as that would seem just from a face value statement <laughs> War chest. Oh look, it's my crossroads. Let's keep buying vagrants. Someday it'll work. Ooh, wild hunt. Gimme. <laughs> look, I know how to play black market. <laughs> Such high skill. It's like not at all. Platinum. Yeah, okay. Uh, you don't get stockpiles. What do I play first? Like, do we go for maximum look space or I guess we go maximum search space. I don't think it really matters which I play first. Like eventually you want to be running bishop. I really don't think you want to be running that stuff. Maybe. I mean, if you manage to accumulate enough draw out of black market, sure. But I really think you do want to be running draw. Oh, I guess there's a counterfeit in there that I'd really like to find. Let's do this one first then. I'll rip that to that. Um, let's throw the bishop in now. Get the treasure hunter possibly against my better judgment. No! What in the world? How does your crossroads line up with stuff? That's not fair. Oh yeah, you also got this wharf. Man, black market's like totally cheating. You don't get another merchant guild. <sighs> uh oh. I mean, I don't think colonies good. I just don't think I'm competitive at all with you if you just start going after colonies, or or really whatever other thing you could be going after. 
I mean, <laughs> I just I just don't have the deck that can do it right now. Ooh, stuff. Uh, I mean, gotta be witch. I'm gonna bishop curse and take another bishop. Don't really want to be finding champion at inopportune times. Uh, I would take raise for sure. I'm kind of trying to run this uh, Vagrant Crossroads deck without... I guess I should be trashing Copper over its curse. Now that I don't hit another Bishop, which is something I would really like. Oh, Highwayman. Sure. That's definitely something that's fair for you to be getting. Oh goody, my Treasure Hunter's gone. <laughs> Well, so much for getting the warrior. <laughs> oh. Siren's pretty good. I don't know that you actually like need it though, right? Crossroads gone. Quartermaster looks pretty good. I wonder if, like, if you get a bishop, if I'm able to resign. I don't guess probably not, but I guess that's a good thing that you trashed the uh, treasure hunter because I wouldn't have been able to play it this turn like viably at all, anyways. I don't really know at this point. Like, there's there's just so little to do. Um. About anything, really. You found your highway, man. Oh my god. Gosh, would I kill for some draw cards that aren't like just wild hunt? Duration draw, you know, wharf. I mean. I would say there was something for me to do about this game, but there so, so, so wasn't. <laughs> My hope right now is that I, like, actually get draw cards and somehow you don't go after bishops. Um, cause, like, I think that's my real path back is just be able to trash tons and tons of stuff. The good news is I'm not getting attacked. The other good news is that you don't actually have, like, that much in the way of, uh, I mean, you have a lot of draw. I just feel like, yeah, you know, is this going to be a colony, colony stockpile, maybe? I mean, I'm trying to play this the long game. I'm not going to buy anything that, like, even remotely resembles a colony. Uh, is Village Green good? Do I have anything that discards? No. Maybe I take Duchy. I think I'm gonna take Duchy. It sounds kind of unsensible, but like, given that my draw is trying to be this Stuff. Merchant Guild doesn't work in Black Market anymore, right? Yeah. Throne. Monastery. Uh, I guess you want to trash. Uh, I guess you want to buy another colony. Sure. Fine. Coppers. No. Uh, I take all draw cards. Um, do I take more bishop? 
Maybe. I guess I could take War Chest. It's kind of a thing. War Chest is to gain things to Bishop. If that sounds completely insane, it's because it is. We're not trashing anything green. Um, do I want another bishop? I could do like another vagrant crossroads or another two vagrants. Vagrant estate. Um, put another crossroads in. I'm gonna try to make this work. We're gonna try to make this work. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to make this work. Not really if it's the last thing I do, but I'm going I'm to try to make it work. Just because you are not doing the totally obvious thing to do. So, <sighs> danged it if... <laughs> If whatever. <laughs> I guess I probably want like stockpile at some point now that I can actually draw, maybe. You just keep buying colonies, that's okay. It's okay. I'm surprised you're not taking hero. Whoa, look at me. I'm I'm a person that draws cards. Oh my god. Okay. Slowly getting there. Kind of like a merchant guild. Maybe I just take the stockpile right now. I feel like I need more buys. One way or another. We'll do one of these two. You have no clue what I want because you think my deck's so uncompetitive, which is probably true, but... I'm going to take the steward. Um, otherwise... province. That really sucked because I think it was like all my draw and all my green cards too. Um, which kind of puts me in bad shape for this turn. I think I have like three crossroads in here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm continuing to play this out just because, like, you didn't get a bishop and you have been buying colonies, and I think you've also ditched, like, both of your crossroads. So, it's like, you you theoretically shouldn't be, like, 100% stable. Oh, Storyteller will help a lot. I might take that over a colony. Nope. We're gonna keep seeing the, the march. March of colonies. Two estates. Well, I'll see what black market shows. Uh, we shuffle, but I would really like the patrol, but we're just going to end up taking, uh, like, a vagrant estate here. I just, I mean, I don't know how you miss. I mean, you you can miss, but I am actually, like, seriously running out of turns at this point. You know, this should be bridge, assuming you have the money and aren't just going to buy colony. 
No, you're, you're just going to buy Colony. Frustrating. Well, I'm getting the last curse out. That's good at least, right? I get a crossroads if I were you. Yeah. Coppers. It's like the stuff that so doesn't matter at all. Let's see. Somehow I need you to miss Colony two turns in a row with six coffers out. And a highwayman coming in. This is so not happening. Yeah. Well, let's see how much points I can produce right here. Assuming I can, like, draw it all. Okay, we did find a crossroads this time, so that's good. Now well, that's all. Alright, well... That one wasn't really good, but... The others, the others, I think, were. This was just black market BS. Um, well, there, there were obvious things that happened, the two that I lost. We had a couple of close end games, which I think is unusual, and... Yeah, um, see you all.